What's up, everybody? Welcome to Road to Riot. I'm Let's Fly RC. And I'm Bubby FPV. And we are out at an abandoned golf course to show you guys another one of my crazy inventions. This is the CL1 XR X8. What does X8 mean? X8 means there is an X configuration on the drone and there are eight propellers. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, just nothing looks like a beast. Like, I wanted to see that thing go super fast and low to the ground. So, a lot of people are actually doing heavy lift drones now. There's a lot of people that are in the cinematography world and some of our fellow pilots are out there filming drone shots for movies. So I actually had another project I'm working on that's coming up here soon where I was trying to do something right. I'm gonna be lifting a little bit of weight so I wanted to kind of make something with a frame that we already sell that can lift some heavy stuff. What do you mean heavy stuff? Like a red Komodo camera, like black magic pocket or just heavy stuff in general? Well that's what other people are doing. Okay. I got a secret project I'm not gonna okay. talk about. Ooh, yet. See, ooh a but secret. I thought it would be pretty cool to try this out and see what it can do for a freestyle. How much bigger is it than like one of our normal quad? So this is, yeah, this is what the X8 looks like compared to your standard Ladrib frame. Are you guys gonna sell this in the store? Um, so we technically already do sell this in the store. Oh, um, cool. This is actually just a CL1 XR frame and Drew and I kind of worked together to come up with this really cool mount that's gonna allow pretty much any frame to be converted into an X8. A little tiny TPU 3D print that allows you to mount a motor to the bottom of the standard arm. That's cool. So any, so, yeah. any drone I want to make have eight motors on it, I can just Pretty Use much. Mount. There are some limitations. If there's something mounted below it, for example, where it's not gonna allow the prop, then it wouldn't work. But most of our drone frames, this should allow anybody convert it to an X8 frame. We're also gonna upload it to Thingiverse, so you guys can download the prints and print them for free if you guys already have your own 3D printer. How does it work with the flight controllers? See, some flight controllers only have six motor outputs. How does this one work? I'm using the HDLRC Zeus DJI F7 board, and it has the ability to run eight motors in an octo configuration. Okay, and it's actually cool. set up in beta flight as an X8. Not, but not all flight controllers will work with this setup. Right, not all flight controllers are gonna work with this. You're gonna have to have the ability to actually have eight servo outputs or eight motor outputs technically. The X8 system wires up in a very similar way to a standard flight controller, but you have to have four additional output pads for the additional four motors. Because we're running eight motors instead of four, we're using the normal plug for the typical motors on the top, and then the motors on the bottom of the quad are actually wired to these four pads here. So this quad actually has the SharkBite HD system installed in it, because we got these new SharkBite systems, we really want to play with them and figure out all the ups and downs between SharkBite and DJI, and I've been playing with the SharkBite system a little bit, and it's definitely different. I want to fly it. <laughs> all right. I want to fly that thing. You know how it works. Yeah. I build it, you guys break it. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh. Keep in mind, there's no landing gear on this, Bubby. Oh, so how do I land it? Carefully. Yeah, Sean is so cool. concerned about the fact that the motors are uncovered. Like, I get it, it's not ideal. But I think this can be fine. He's so concerned. He's like, oh, we're gonna damage the motors. When we land them, we're gonna damage them. I'm like, when's the last time you have ever landed? You don't land your quads? No, I don't. That's, you, that's what's you crash your quads all the time. All the time. And the motors okay. are fine. I'm not doing anything. That looks so funny. It's dude. doing its own it thing. It looks like a human because you have like the legs and the arms and the head. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. It's just skating around the ground like with the air. Just expect to see that in the goggles because it's going to act a little weird before you take off. Just kind of flip it and you'll be good. Oh, this is weird. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm, I kind of want to see full throttle. Let's see. Wow. It doesn't... Oh, low voltage right away. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see the battery. Okay. <laughs> it says low voltage on the screen. Okay, I see the voltage. Is it uh, the same speed as a 5-inch quad? Or is it... I haven't metered it. You I haven't metered know. it? Okay. This is the first time it's been flown FPV, except for me kind of hovering it. <laughs> really? That's cool. Yeah, see it said land now. Yeah, <laughs> it said land now. <laughs> yeah. I like it, honestly. Like, it just... I don't know. Let me try to actually, like, really try to... Freestyle like I nor would a normal five inch quad. Whoa, power line. Whoa! <laughs> Your rates are a lot faster than mine, but that's just me. So I'm almost gonna forget that it's a like a bigger quad because it I mean it feels like a five inch kind of right now to me. I don't know. It sounds kind of whoa. Whoa. whoa! Fast rates, <laughs> fast rates, geez. Dude, that thing is so fast. Is it faster, Drew, than the I mean, line it? aside, it looks pretty serious. <laughs> you were flying for quite a bit. I wasn't expecting to last. I thought the long. battery would get stuck right the hell down. I mean, it's, it's, like, down it's, like, it's like 14. Right Should I land? You're at 14 volts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like hover. Down. On the grass. What's the arm switch? Okay, let's see. Finger. Oh, that was so sick. <laughs> you actually landed it without I breaking it. I landed it without breaking it. I mean, <laughs> it was like 
scary. I don't, I don't know. I think it would feel more like a bigger quad if I was in a tighter area with like, where the location had like tighter gaps and stuff. I don't know. I mean, there's some tight gaps in there. Maybe like, like I want to see it whip around like in these tight gaps. Like, I mean, get, after everyone else says that, I want to break it. a fresh it. battery. <laughs> yeah, let's put a fresh oh, battery. Should we all get a chance on before we really send it? It did. It did. Yeah, you, should, you haven't even flown it yet. No, I haven't yeah, even flown it yet. <laughs> I, I, when I, I was noticing that it was twitchy for for you, because typically you're a very flowy, smooth pilot, and it did seem like it was a little twitchy. Maybe it's just getting used to my rates. That might yeah. be what it was. I think we should be able to change the rates in the OSD menu. I haven't actually tried yet, but cool. my rates are like super I'm like still learning. Personal. They're like super low. Yeah, you probably flew for. Four minutes or so. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really, yeah, was I wasn't really minutes. going like vroom vroom. I don't, I don't understand how it could fly. I really thought. Well, I guess. Hold on. So if you think about it, our five-inch drones with forest batteries, we're getting about three minutes of flight. Keep in mind, this with is... the seven-inch drone, mm -hmm. we were getting like five or six minutes of flight. Right. So now we've doubled the motor, and maybe that just brought it right back down to the flight time Normal that you get time. out of a five-inch drone. I didn't even think about it that way. Yeah, because these are bigger motors and they're more efficient. Right. So, because yeah, when we don't, when it's not the X8 configuration, when it's just the seven-inch, when it's just the standard XR, we're yeah. flying for like five, six, seven, Almost eight, eight minutes. Yeah. So I guess that's funny. You're taking it, doubling the motors, you're bringing the flight time back down, but the increase in power. I don't know. I haven't flown it yet, but just visually, I was like, ooh. Yeah. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's so weird. You just have to like flip it to get it off the ground so you don't mess the props up. <laughs> yeah. It sounds so quiet when you're hovering. It does sound really quiet. Oh yeah, no, it it feels fine to me. Like it doesn't feel shaky or anything. I think it was just you getting used to my rates. That's cool. all. What are your rates just stock rates? Or yeah, just stock rates. I got a little bobble there, but I haven't tuned this at all. This yeah. is stock tune, stock rates. So I'm sure with a little bit of tuning from our master tuner Tyler, this thing would fly a lot better. Oh wow, I gave it a little bit of power there and it it definitely has more power than my regular five inch. <laughs> yeah. Pulls out of a dive with no issue. Doesn't feel awkward or anything. Watch out for those trees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm still, hey, it's still alive. I got extra props to chop the trees up with. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm already down to like 14.2, so. I mean, you're back up to 14.4 yeah. at hover. I don't know, still feels like I have power. It doesn't feel like it's sagging or anything. Yeah. Even with that big punch out over the trees. Dude, that sound, it sounds so cool. Like the, I don't know, it sounds so cool. Oh, I'm gonna bring it in now because I'm under 14 you volts. Yeah, 13.5. Oh! All right, here we come. You got 13 volts, dude. <laughs> nice. yeah, not bad. Was it feeling weak at no. the end? No, it didn't feel weak at all. It felt fine. Yeah, I guess you're still just kind of getting that seven inch advantage because like that's the yeah. other thing is like, those seven inches, we fly the voltage way lower. And right. It's not really that bad for the batteries. It's when the battery is already at a low voltage and you're still sucking current out of it. That's when you really damage your batteries on the seven inch thing. Well, what is the current? This thing is not exactly what I expected. I can't believe <laughs> how, how powerful that thing is. It's just boogies. Yeah. Like, when I pulled out of the split S's, it was like I had no hold back. I just yeah. put no effort into it and it came right out of the split S, no problem. Was it my turn? Yeah, I yeah, to it now. Crash it? Man, I'm psyched. I can't believe we haven't even broken a prop yet. Like, I expected us to have it totally busted by now. I mean... Well, actually, <laughs> I think... Isn't one of the things about X8... Hold on. So you're all excited we didn't break a prop, but I think... What are you trying to do? We're gonna go take the prop off. Oh! oh what is he gonna do? Oh, man, he's gonna try to fly it with seven props. They're always... Oh, my God, it actually flies! Yeah, that's it's freaking flat. awesome! That's so crazy! Oh my god! Okay, it's not, I can tell, like, look, it's, it's dipping. The corner is definitely dipping. And, so like, oh, uh oh, it won't come down. Well, like, okay. one of the major. So it's not happy. It's not happy. But you could fly at home. You but could like, fly at home, but it's not happy. Like, okay. the corner was dipping, and air mode with the eye term spiking, it right. was like, I was full throttle. I had to, like, nose down to come down because it wouldn't just come down flat. And I bet you that motor's hot. But I mean, there, we've always used X8s because it was backup, right? I mean, not it, that bad. it gives you like a fail safe. Right, almost. this motor is probably a... buzzing full speed with no prop, which wasn't good, but but it's crazy to see that it actually works. you actually have a little bit of fail safe in there. I wonder. That's really cool. Don't do any more. Why not? <laughs> we need to break it before you get to fly it. You already tried it. Why do you have to try more? <laughs> Just fly it. No more. How far can we go? Whoa, it flies. Whoa. That's crazy. Hold on, let's take off some more. No, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's so, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there he goes. Breaking my stuff. Okay. Breaking my stuff. That was, not, that was zero throttle. That was zero throttle? Zero throttle. As soon as I armed it. Okay, so if you lose one prop, you lose one you're prop, okay. You're okay. If you lose two props, you're okay. Okay, if you lose three props, it's going away. 
Back to China. Do you think it was just because <laughs> the CERN probably took off? Or like I think if I turn off one? air mode, it might be okay, but I don't want to mess with it. Because I just, all I did was arm it. I didn't move any second. Oh all gosh. I did was arm it, and it just went whoop. And you see it was rotating. It just oh started gosh. going, ha! Ah! That's crazy. <laughs> I think this could use some tuning. Yeah, it's stock, so it still has oh, stock Oh, very idle. bobble, very yeah. bobbly. There's some twitches and stuff without really seeing. Yeah, so there's some, there's some tuning issues, but as just kind of a proof of concept, this is very fascinating. Yeah. I think probably our seven inch tune would be fine, or at least better, because this is just stock beta flight, right? Right, yeah. I mean, I'm impressed that just stock beta flight flies as good as it does. Power oh, line. Power oh, line. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, you successfully got it stuck in a tree. Is it disarmed? Damn. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. At least if you do get stuck in a tree oh, and you can't find oh, it, you have eight, eight motors, motors beeping now. A loud beeper. <laughs> That's worth it alone, just to have the beeper yeah, be Yeah, eight louder. beepers, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta finish this pack. <laughs> Jeez, these rates. I know these are stock rates, but I think it's amplified because of the... Oh. Something like that does not feel like a stock rate. Because I fly a little faster than stock rate and this feels faster than my rates. It's hard to drop. And we need to... The idle speed is stock. The so. idle is really high. Look at the shadow. Oh my gosh. I saw the shadow of the quad. That was cool. Oh, that's right. there. oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. You did it. Wow. What? Should I Maddie flip it? Why not? I can always build another one, right? Oh. oh. Yep. We well, almost made it. Does turtle mode? Turtle mode, work? yeah, try turtle mode. Mm, try, what try is it? Try turtle mode. Dude. Which one is turtle mode? It's, I don't even I think know. It's, I, didn't I, think it's that one I didn't put turtle mode on it. Well, it, it sure? said turtle mode for me when I clicked it. <laughs> oh, oh! It did it! Oh, oh my gosh! That was cool. No problem. The props are still good. So and you normal? took off in the grass, too. Yeah. So we're fine. fine. Who needs landing gear? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs landing gear when yeah. you have power? Oh my god. That's so fast. I feel like Vanover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this how Vanover feels when he flies five inch? Yeah. Oh, so fast. Yes. I'm the immortal. Woo! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like the first when I first started flying quads and I didn't know how to do real tricks yet and I was just like, yes! Yes, I'm so fast! You're at 12 four. You're oh my god, am I really? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that is low. Two. That is low. What? How am You're I at 11. Oh how my god. am I shredding at oh 10, ten volts? volts. Oh ten god. volts and it was shredding. Oh my god. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Why? That's ridiculous. But the motors aren't aren't warm. Oh yeah. That's totally cold. fine. That's totally the battery on the other on the other hand. <laughs> yeah. Is like this <laughs> I owe you a battery. So we're gonna copy the tune only from this drone to that drone because this drone is tuned well with our master tuner Tyler from Rotor Riot store. I just want to pull the pieces off of this tune that I need for that drone. I can't copy everything because that has eight motors, this has four motors, and if I copy everything it'll screw all my motor assignments up and everything else. So we're just gonna grab the things that I need from this tune copy it in a notepad, and then transfer those items into that tune. I really just want to see if the XR tune will work on this, even though it's the X8, like even though there's eight motors. Like, I don't know how well the, a tune that we made around a quadcopter will translate to an octocopter motor mix. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh my god, that works. Boom, look at wow. that. Oh yes. It's smooth. Yeah. That is smoothy groovy. That works better fly, than I expected. I guess I just fly really bad flying quads. No, I think, you know, you fly mostly stock tune, and yeah. I, the stock tune works really, really well for five inch quads. Yeah. The It's just when you start doing something like going to seven inch, oh, yeah, this flies first, so good now. When we first flew the seven inch, it flew like garbage. Yeah. Stock tune, yeah. This flies, yes. The rates are slow. Yeah, I think these are Bubby's rates, right? They're my rates, yeah. Yeah, the rates are a little slower than I like. Inverted yaw spin! Boom! Oh what? <laughs> that was full yaw, dude. That was full, your rates are ridiculous. Look at this, full yaw. Go, go, go! Oh it's so smooth, this thing is awesome now. It was fun before, but now it's... Funner. Oh my god, now I really like it. I think we should get some chase footage of it, what do you think? I've been wanting to get chase footage of it. Right. You're gonna okay. fly.
totally did. Oh, I caught that crash. You're good. Well, no, you're not. Don't take off. But, <laughs> but it was a soft crash. It I was, was probably facing the wrong direction. Did but... you just snow out? Yeah, completely snow out. I, I actually think you probably ran the battery too low. Definitely did because I'm oh, landing. Oh, wow. I'm at I... 9.7 volts. <laughs> yeah, you just ran the battery too, too low. Fun. I was having too much fun. <laughs> too much fun. That's crazy that you didn't even feel it getting low at all. No, I didn't feel it at all. Yeah, shark bite cuts out at 10 volts. Oh, okay. But well, so I'm does the DJI. Yeah. DJI. I mean, a DJI 9 volts, there's no way. Yeah. At yeah. least I got to crash my own quad this time. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. It was a really soft fall, so it like came down through these trees and like bounced around a little bit on the floor. I mean, this TPU mount's a little bit cockeyed, but I mean, it's yeah, one fine. One. Yeah. These arms are so thick. Eight, eight millimeter, eight arms. millimeter arms? These are eight millimeter arms. Dude, that's unbreakable. Your nine yeah. volt battery is still plugged in. <laughs> Yeah, bounce oh back gosh. up to like 13.6. Oh it's God. okay. The yeah. unbreakable X8, <laughs> XR, X8. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Les Fly RC. I'm Bubby FPV. And we'll see you guys next time on Rotor Riot. Bye. Don't forget the bell! I Honestly, think this might be faster. Yeah. This is what people really want to see. Yeah. This one is a spoiler. <laughs> so this one, what? Why? <laughs> Why? Spoiler alert! I saw the Bart, the you and Bardwell's video. And I was like, I need this. Why do you have a I think it makes it go like at least one thousand miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah.